And uh, that is why we are so pleased to call on someone who led that post-election examination for the Republican Party. He is the chairman of the Republican National Committee, Reince Priebus. Reince, it is good to have you with us here. Hey, thank you, Congressman. Happy to be on the show. Well, Mr. Chairman, the Democrats have reportedly invested about 60 million in voter turnout efforts, but uh, Democrat voters uh, usually don't turn out in droves for the midterms. What What is the president trying to do with his ground game uh, for next Tuesday? Well, I mean, so just to back up a little bit for the listeners that maybe don't live in this you know, mechanical world like we do, and I know you have extensive experience with this stuff. And the first thing that needs to happen, and what I've talked about is having a national party that, get, that has its act together when it comes to data on voters and a digital operation and then a, a, a year-round ground operation. So what what he's talking about is, is real in that the first step is identifying what voters in a particular state do you want to vote early. So if you're running for Senate in Iowa, you spend a whole lot of time figuring out all the data on every voter, what they buy and don't buy, what magazines they subscribe to, how much money do they make, how many kids do they have, what's their voter history, are they high propensity voters or are they once in a while voters? You put all that together and then you create this universe of targets. And so what's happening now is that what we're doing at the RNC is helping direct the targeting of those voters. So if you have a bunch of, say you have 500,000 what we call low propensity voters in Iowa, people that don't vote all the time but should, but they have characteristics that make them highly probable to be a voter for the Republican Joni Ernst. So what do you do? You send them an absentee ballot request form. Then you send into Iowa and around Iowa people and volunteers that are working in Iowa to help turn out those ballots. So I know I'm talking too long, but I just want to give you a little well, no, flavor. That's what's going on, and that's the way that close elections are won and lost. Uh, I believe the term is micro-targeting now. I believe that's what we've yeah. used in years past. But in addition to micro-targeting, there's always the video image. Right, your organization just released a new video. We'll take a look, and then I want to get your reaction to what you guys have put out here. When you don't vote, you feel left out. When you feel left out, you need human interaction. When you need human interaction, you dress up like a dinosaur and give out hugs. When you dress up like a dinosaur and give out hugs, a nervous mother hits you with their purse. When a nervous mother hits you with their purse, you need medical attention. And when you need medical attention, you wish you had your health care plan that was canceled by Obamacare. Don't let Obamacare cancel your health care plan. Vote Republican this fall and get rid of Obamacare. So a little spoof on the old direct TV <laughs> ad campaign. Humor uh, writes, we got about 30 seconds. Is it going to work? Is the GOP going to laugh its way to big gains on Tuesday? <laughs> well, look, it, it takes all kinds of ads to make this thing work. And you got to target your ads and you got to have some humor mixed in. And I think you'd agree we lack a little humor. I think in politics sometimes it's the unused weapon that we don't use. So I think it's very helpful. Uh, we had a pretty hard-hitting ad last week on Guantanamo and ISIS and Ebola and the president. And so you got to mix it up, J.D. Understood. And uh, a light touch can sometimes be effective. Heck, look at the president joking about voter fraud in Chicago earlier this week. Hmm? There's truth in that humor. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, Reince Priebus, uh, our time is up, sir. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much. And America's Forum will continue after this timeout.